This is Kevin Mary, your American correspondent for Real L Craft Beer, and today we're drinking Magic Hat Big Hundo. This is a very limited release series. They had it on tap at the brewery last year, and this year here they bottled it in the 22 ounces. I believe it's reasonably fresh. I was looking at their website. Looks like it was probably bottled around the middle of March, and this is the end of April. So we do have, um, we do have, it should be a fairly fresh bottle. We have this lovely little hanging tag on here, which tells us the malt is pale. Hops are, Am Am no. Hops are Apollo and Simcoe, and it's dry hop with Simcoe, and it is 100 IBUs, and they do make a big deal about the IBUs on it. I did have to do some sleuthing on the date. There's nothing on the bottle. But other than that, we're going to go ahead and give it a crack and see what we got. And I already can smell some hops coming up off of that. So it is 9% ABV. And I thought just a big double IPA like this would be good for a sniff the glass. So let's do what the look. It is pretty hazy. Very, very hazy. Uh, I don't know if it's a chill haze or not. I have warmed the bottle up. Should be okay. And then we have uh, some carbonation streaming up through it. A fairly small head on it. It's fairly light. And it is a dark orange. And you do get uh, grapefruit. Pineapple. Just a hint of cut grass and just some of the malt up front. A little bit of that toffee caramel. So, let's do the taste. Wow. For such a, sing, um, such a minimalist hop bill, Oh God, such a minimalist malt build. I would have expected this to be kind of unbalanced, but it's really not. That first taste, you get malt. I mean, the first taste is that bready, toffee malt. And then it does, I mean, the 100 IBUs builds fast. I mean, it's right at the back of the throat, big IBUs, big bitterness. And it does show off the hops, though. You're getting some of that grapefruit. Oh, so, yeah, get a little bit of the alcohol taste, picking that up, and get a little bit of warming from it. I don't know if this is bottle conditioned or not. Oh, I can't tell. So, malt, grapefruit, a little bit of cut grass, and a little, some little floral notes in there, too. They're a little bit more on the subtle end of it. And the bitter doesn't linger. Like I said, you do the malt, first thing, you get the big, massive buildup of the bitterness, but it doesn't linger. You know, sometimes it just sticks in the back of the throat and you can't get it to go away. So you're ready for that next sip because, hey, it's good. Yeah, no, very. it's a very nice, solid IPA. I'm calling it a double IPA because it's 9%. They don't actually call it that. They just call it an IBA. Uh, Big Hundo IPA, 100 IBUs. Very limited release from Magic Hat. Uh, you probably have a hard time finding it. I think they're just doing one batch, and that's going to be it. They're saying this is the only time they're going to bottle it. Solid, solid IPA. It's not world class. It's not world beater, but definitely very drinkable. I would give this a solid 86 out of 100. Till next time, keep drinking.